heart. Two. Now make it. Hey guys, welcome to Art 2. If you're new to the channel, we discuss ways to sell your art online. In today's video, we're discussing how to take a look at other people's tags and descriptions and get a competitive advantage by knowing what others are using for similar designs. So a little bit of hacking goes into this, so let's get to it. Okay, so we're heading over to Redbubble's website, and we know that tags play a very important part in your designs being found. As I mentioned in previous videos, search engines and the search function in Redbubble cannot find your designs if you don't have proper descriptions and tags. That's how the search engines recognize designs. So it's important that you know what tags you're using for your designs in order to get found in Google and in uh, the Redbubble search algorithm. So there is another video on this uh, channel that you can take a look at on how to find tags for your designs. So in today's video, I wanted to go into Redbubble and see if I could find the secret sauce. Could I find what caused a certain design to be on the front page of Redbubble? Was there something in the tags, the description? that place that particular design at the top of the search. So I went into the mask category and I clicked into one of the designs that came up on the front page. This one was called Suspicious Cats and it was right at the top of the search result for masks. And I wanted to see, was there a secret sauce as to why this particular design showed up at the top of the Redbubble search for masks. So I was using Microsoft's Edge web browser to get this result, but you can also do this with Google and uh, look for the page source. So I did control F to find tags and then when I brought up tags, I compared what was in the source code to what showed up on the Redbubble uh, side panel, which is viewable to anybody who goes on this particular design. So it's not hidden. So there was nothing specifically different between what showed up on the uh, panel and to what I found in the source code. So that rules out that there's any special sauce as far as tags go. Whatever you put into your tags is what's going to show up and nothing's hidden. So anybody can actually go into your design and steal or borrow or take your tags if they have a similar design. There's nothing hiding it from the public. So even though I went into the source code trying to see if there was any other tags that didn't show up, there was nothing hidden. Everything was in plain sight. So that means that anybody, if you have a good design and you've used good tags, somebody can come along and take those tags and use it for their own design. So by doing this little experiment, I was able to verify that my tags are not hidden from others and that others can use my tags and find the tags that I've used for my design, which is pretty important if you want to be able to be competitive, um, that you know that your tags can be found by others. Regardless, it was kind of a fun experiment to go into the source code and see if there was any little tidbits or secret sauce that I could pick up from the Redbubble website. Unfortunately, I didn't learn too much from this experiment, but hey, if you guys like this type of content and you like to learn about selling your art online, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and we'll have some new content up for you soon. And we're constantly updating the channel with new print-on-demand information to help you sell your art online. So we'll see you guys in the next one.